three, two, one. What is up, everyone? Welcome back to Conversing with Chris and Mies of the podcast. Today is Sunday. It is August 9th. It is approximately 5.32 p.m. Mountain Time. Uh, this is episode number 39. Our, my my uh, sister Amanda Marcus is here with us for this episode, guys. But before, hey. we that, before we get into that, as always, guys, Misa's here. Misa, say what's up. Yo, yo, yo. What it do? What it do? Also joined by the producer, Lena. Lena, say what's up. Hi, hello. And like I mentioned before... My sister Amanda's here. Amanda, say what's up to the podcast. Hey, everyone. How's that going? Glad to be here with you tonight. Yeah. Amanda! <laughs> Hi, play. Amanda. Hi, Misa. Nice How are you? you? A nice meeting you. Finally. Right? I'll tell Chris, hey, get I your sister you. on. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell Chris, hey, man. Get her on. Because, like, yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know, dude. I don't, I don't know, man. Yeah, he's he kept avoiding it. Uh, I was like, I don't know, dude. She's a Trump supporter, so we'll see. Hey. <laughs> we get into that later. <laughs> preview, so, but anyways, guys, fucking, uh, thank you for hanging out with us today. Uh, make sure to follow us on Facebook, like us on Instagram, follow, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, check us out on Apple Podcasts, leave us a rating and a review. Um, we got a lot of cool things we want to talk about today. Amanda's um, not new to the podcast, guys. She was on episode seven back in the day when it was just conversing with Chris. We old uh, as Chris. That episode, actually, my boy Rick sat in with, with me. Shout out to Rick. And we interviewed my sister. So we already kind of like introduced her to the podcast. And then she was on another time with, with my boy Jeremy in another episode. Always pulls through. <clears throat> so we're not going to really get into like the normal, like, who are you? We're kind of going to get just like into like more in-depth stuff kind of the way we did with nick um but before we do any of that guys we have a tradition in this motherfucker okay it's a little like this that guys is our celebratory beer we do that before every podcast constipation Amanda, you said you were having yourself a drink tonight. What are you? Uh, what are you sipping on? Yes, I am sipping on a nice cold glass of vodka and cranberry pineapple juice. Nice, I nice. Vodka. Misa, what's in your cup? Water, dude. Agua, agua fresca. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Agua, agua fría, we. Nice, nice. <laughs> All right, so. Um, Gotta stay hydrated. So we're gonna do. Um, mm things off segment guys but before we do that i just want to give a little background me and my sister are three years apart um she's actually coming live from us from florida so amanda can you just tell us real fast where in florida you're at yes um i'm currently in lake worth beach florida which is i'd say five miles or so from west palm beach so north of Fort lauderdale north of miami so a little away from the craziness it's oh, nice. We're gonna talk about the craziness. We have a <laughs> we have a special segment lined up for you. Um, we're gonna. Get- <laughs> so, yeah. um, yeah, Amanda is my older sister. We also have an older brother, but she lives in Florida. But she, we keep in touch, and she supports the podcast. So, can you just give us any thoughts that you have on our podcast so far? Any critiques or anything that you like about it? No, I love it. Like I look forward to it every week. Um, I love how I've been able to see it grow from the very beginning, you know, like you bouncing some ideas off me and, you know, I appreciate it because you actually value my opinion on it. So I feel like it's kind of um, made our relationship like closer. So I don't know. The podcast is like really special to me and I like where it's at and your outlook on it. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Amanda, you've been like probably the top two or top fan of ours, you know, because I have a friend and Chris tells me, he's like, bro, she's always like, yo, wait, when's the next episode coming out next? You know? Yeah. And uh, like, we really appreciate that a lot, a lot. So yeah, no, nice. it's part of my like routine. And even before you guys, um, I really started listening to podcasts like super heavy where like it's primary podcasts. Like I hardly listen to music anymore because it's such a medium that 
um, is like so big right now in my life. And then, you know, for you guys to be having a local one, it kind of like brings me home like every week. I feel like I'm there. It's like your, like, your weekly check-in in El Paso. <laughs> yeah, like, okay, well, what's going on back home? Fill me in. <laughs> COVID. COVID. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, and you know what? One thing I wanted to do, and I, I kind of messed up when I introduced you, I wanted to say that you were coming live from the COVID capital of the world since you're in Florida. <laughs> I but, guess I am, right? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that's what's up. Um, yeah, like me. Hey, we're number one in something. Well, I'm, <laughs> yeah, exactly. And that's kind of America's outlook on the whole thing. Like, <laughs> hey, we're number one, baby, again. <laughs> the cases we got. You see that shit? Looks good, don't yeah. it? <laughs> Can't fuck with us. Yeah, don't fuck with us, bro. Do you it. see this chart? We're at the top. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> no matter what kind of. <laughs> We're at the top. <laughs> oh, okay. God bless America. Oh, <laughs> all right, guys. Let's do the <clears throat> what? Okay, let's do the kicking things off segment, guys. So on this segment, we go around the virtual Zoom meeting. Everybody kind of says a little thing, a little something that's new with them, and you know, we'll uh, we'll start with myself today. So, guys, um, something new that's that. Oh, hold on. Sorry. Uh, something's new. Something new with me. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You should have talked. It's because Lana was distracting the shit out of me. She was distracting out of me. Oh, my God. Wait, I said wait, and I can go for it. Okay. Sorry. Jesus. So. This guy. <clears throat> okay. So, something new with me, guys, is today uh, we finished our fucking giveaway for the podcast. It was a gift card giveaway for our listeners that participated on our live stream. And I was kind of just thinking about it. And I really think that the live streams are helping us a lot. Yeah. So shout And out. Thank you. I really want to shout out everybody who fucking watched those because it's kind of weird. It's almost like a different audience in a way. And like we were eating baby food and shit <laughs> and, <laughs> and shit. It was, it was, it was, it was <laughs> but yeah, it just got to think, it just got me to thinking like, I think me and Misa want to definitely start to do more live streams more consistently and kind of make that part of the podcast, like on a, on a weekly basis. You know what I mean? So I don't know. That's, that's what's new with me. I've really been thinking a lot about that. Misa, what, what, what's new with you? Um, yeah, it's just the whole thought of, of that whole going live. Um, it's, I don't know. I, I like it. It, it kind of, you know, it's just kind of gives me that feel of like when we started when we would record, you know, with our guest in person, um but also what what i was thinking the other day is now watching basketball on tv that right there man made my day oh dude made my day dude going going so long without any sports chris yeah and you know what would be cool now that i think about it is like if we did the podcast right like like how we used to like in the garage and then just have a TV on with some basketball, like at all times. Like it, it might be distracting for us because we might be like, "Oh shit!" Look yeah, that. it might be an important game, though. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we might both be there, just like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. But I mean, yeah. at the same time, I feel like the vibe would be nice, like just to see some some hoops going on. <laughs> it's been so long, yeah, know? dude. We'll have like ten TVs around or something. Yeah. So if anybody wants to donate their old TVs, let us know. Yeah, it doesn't matter the size, anything, flat screen, big screen, small screen, doesn't matter. Box screen. Screen okay, Amanda, what's new <laughs> with you? Uh, what's new with me? Not much. It's, it's hot. It's been extremely hot in Florida, so trying to stay out of the heat. You know, I have been avoiding the beach for that reason. So kind of like immersing myself in work right now. Like oh, God, how hot is it out there? It's probably, like, extremely humid, right? Like, temperature-wise, you guys are hotter. But, yeah, the humidity, like, we're probably at about 75% humidity or something. <gasps> yeah, so 88 degrees feels like 100 degrees. Yeah, know? I'm sweating already thinking yeah, about it. Yeah, it's not pleasant. That's, that's <laughs> like, the heat when, like, you walk outside and, like, you just took a bath. You, like, yeah. it, you get, like sticky and like sweaty again you know what i mean <laughs> even letting and then back the dog, to go to the shower yeah and like even letting the dog out like at four or five in the morning like it, you just feel it immediately and it's, oh, it's not pleasant 
Why do people even go outside? Why do people even live over there? I asked myself that a few times. <laughs> <laughs> Why do people even live there? Dude, guess what yeah. the is right now? The humidity for you guys? Oh, for you. Oh, for me? Probably like 70, 75. Holy shit, 78. Damn. Ah, see? Hey, Misa, um, you've never been to Florida, huh? <laughs> I, I don't even know where that is. <laughs> hey, Amanda, let's quiz them on some Florida facts, okay? So I'm going to give you a, just anything that you can think is factual about, about Florida. Uh, Misa, All right. What's the capital of Florida? False. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know. Miami? <laughs> Amanda, what's the capital of Florida? It's Tallahassee, right? There you go. Hello, what? Oh, sorry, wrong sounder. No, that's <laughs> <laughs> okay. He's all okay. tell tell a what? Let's see. Okay. Uh um, doesn't Florida doesn't Florida have like the oldest city in yeah, America or something? St. Augustine. We've been hey. there. Yeah, oh, true. I've been there before. I've been to the oldest city in America, bro. Yeah. What have you done? Cool. I've been to Juarez. Yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and survived. <laughs> and survived. <laughs> survived. Hey, um, yeah. Oh shit! Guess what? Florida is the flattest state in America. <laughs> like flat, F L A T. Yeah. How do you spell that? <laughs> like, <laughs> it's flat, like because there's no mountains at all there, right? Right, because you know how like you ha you can use uh, mountains as a visual aid of like to get a sense of where you're at. Yeah. Here, you kind of really need, at least I think, to know yours directions like north south east west and your skills need to be on point if you're out there yeah the highest elevation is the dump oh. <laughs> like that's it <laughs> that's like that's like actually really bad um so yeah, you you go down that road and you go right there where that croc is right there <laughs> you turn right you pass the swamp hey misa have you ever seen that video of that big ass crocodile that's walking on the golf course yeah, dude. Yeah, that was in Florida, right? Dude, that's a dinosaur. Yeah, dude, it looks like a fucking dinosaur. These guys are just chilling, playing golf, and this <laughs> beast, this fucking beast of a dinosaur just walks by. All like, they named it like Little Billy or something, right? Yeah, <laughs> I did. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Well, like that's like a common occurrence, you know? Gators showing up in your backyard, and especially like if you live on the canal. Okay, have you had an interaction with one? No, thank God, but I would, because in our last townhouse, we lived on a little canal. I don't think it fed into, you know, the ca actual canal system. I think it was more like a pond. So, but I would get worried when I would let him out at night that, you know, I'm like, shit, I don't know what's out there. They'll snap up the dog. <laughs> yeah. The the snacks on snacks. Wait, or like I if it was dark and I'd be sitting out there having a drink, you'd hear something in the water and you're like, oh shit, you know, what is that? <laughs> there goes my neighbor. <laughs> Dude, imagine watching your dog get like just no. destroyed by no, an alligator. Like, That'd be terrible. Exactly. Jesus. And there's That's nothing. You can't like, let him out. There's nothing you can do. Like, what are you going to do? Are you going to yeah, like. You can't take it on. I know. You should, but you never know. You should, you're in this rage. Next thing you know, yeah. you're wrestling a gator. Yeah, but then you're both dead. <laughs> dude. See you. Oh see you later, Fluffy. I would, dude, I don't know. Misa, do you think you could take an alligator on one, one on one? I don't know, dude. Depends. Maybe like three shots of like whiskey and then hell yeah. Oh, no. What would be I, your strategy? I, My strategy? Yeah. Like, honestly. Get it from behind. Okay. Jump on top of it. Okay. You know, tire tire it out, choke it out, probably put it to sleep. I don't know about killing it. What would you do to the fucking alligator if you had to fight it? Me? Yeah. Yeah, you. I'd run. <laughs> <laughs> Make some gator boots. Like, I'm not trying to take that thing on. Like, dude, no. <laughs> There's just some battles that you know that, I mean, no, you know? not gonna happen We're not yeah gonna but what win. if it was gonna eat um what if it was gonna eat drizzy your dog then hopefully it'd be packing if i was like in the everglades or something <laughs> and like, sorry we'll just shoot <laughs> maybe i don't know if it worked no. <laughs> don't hit the dog oh uh, that's funny okay so um 
You recently, there was recently a hurricane that passed through there, right? Yeah, it skirted pretty darn close, gave us a little bit of a scare. What was the name of the hurricane? This one was tough. Nobody knew how to pronounce it. Yeah, because it's Hurricane Isaias. Isaias, Isaias, I don't know. Isaias? <laughs> yeah, dude. It's I heard a- someone say Isaias's. Yeah, it's a really, <laughs> it's a really weird spelling. So, but it's like Hurricane Isaias or some shit. It sounds Puerto Rican. Uh, Isaias, right? Yeah, it does. So, tell us what you experienced uh, as it passed. Was it like anything that you were expecting, or was it not as bad? It wasn't as bad because it ended up staying offshore. So, the worst part of the hurricane is on the eastern side of it so we were would have been on the western side so regardless we weren't going to get the worst of it but even then it was mainly wind like i woke i had to work that morning and i went out like at four and it was like you know pretty windy like the stop sign was kind of doing that but other than that like, we didn't get a lot of rain <laughs> she's, like, she's like stop and go stop and go <laughs> <laughs> she's like, i don't know what to do like, got- <laughs> that's crazy well, so, like, I don't know if you remember this, Misa. Remember on, like, I think it was an episode with Fernando Cuevas where fucking I predicted that we were going to have a bad hurricane season? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I didn't appreciate that at all. Okay, well, yeah, look, look. Here, look, this is something that was published yesterday or two days ago. Um, by Chris. <laughs> <laughs> and it talks about how predictions for the 2020 Atlantic hurricane, hurricane season have just gotten worse. Uh, oh, right. So now, check this out. Um, they're expecting as many as 25 name storms, which is a lot, you know, which is twice the average number. And they're already gonna, running out of names. What What's the name of this one? S-A-S-S? Yeah, but they go in alphabetical order, right? Yeah. That's how they name them, right? Do you know? So we'd have to go through the entire alphabet. That's pretty much what that's saying, that we're going to go through the whole alphabet of names, which yeah. I don't think we're going to know. It's going to be crazy. But this is a prediction. Maybe it won't be so bad. So this is what... like a hurricane Zion. This, <laughs> so, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration warns that wind patterns and warmer than normal seawater have conspired to prime the Atlantic Ocean for a particularly fitful year. Global warming. So, Dude, watch. They're going to name one Karen, and it's going to be the worst one. <laughs> <laughs> No, they're supposed to be, I think, a Nana this year. What do you mean? Nah, 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 nah. Yeah. What do you mean, Nana? Like, Grandma, Nana. Nana, Nana. Maybe she'll be real loving and See, caring. You I... know, she won't no. be No, all... she's going to be a vicious bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bad. Okay. It's like, because that's what everyone's going to think. And like, oh, Grandma's going to go easy on us. They're not going to prepare enough. I'm going to be mad can be a disaster. Hey, Misa, do you think you'd survive a hurricane? Um, here in El Paso, yeah, dude. I've survived every single one so far, so. <laughs> no, I'm saying. I, I don't know. <laughs> no, yeah. Um, yeah, dude, I don't know. Maybe, dude. But you, I'd probably be one of those people, like, trying to record it. Like, my first hurricane. <laughs> just trying to record it, dude. That it out there like this. Yo. <laughs> Dude, I kind of I don't want to go through like a really devastating one, but I kind of want to go through like a small one where it's like it gets a little crazy, but nothing. Just to, maybe like, like in stages, you know, like category one first, and then all right, tomorrow let's go for you know let's jump to three tomorrow. Fuck it. That's like the worst I've been through is like a one, which was last year or the year before. Okay, fucking four. Uh, no, it was the year before. <clears throat> fucking. Four. Um. So it's like. I've been really lucky in the time that I've been out here. So I hope I don't have to go through one of those like really big ones, you know, but just even preparing for one, it, like things get a little crazy out here. So, like, how do you, okay. So when you moved to Florida, that was something you had in the back of your mind and you just educated yourself on like how to prepare and whatnot. You kind of learn as you go. And, you know, like now, since we moved closer to the beach, like, the threat is, I guess, realer, you know, as opposed to living inland. So, 
you know, keeping an eye on it more. So it can be a little more anxious, but you know, it's... Hey, Amanda, can you swim? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So then you're good. <laughs> Yeah, like, the water what, don't hurt. Mm-hmm. You know, what if there's like live power lines, you know, or gators? Oh, <laughs> yeah, imagine yeah. you go in the water oh. in your neighborhood with and there's alligators and shit. Dude, nope, fuck. Yeah. Obstacle okay. course suit, damn. Dude, that shit <laughs> crazy. Okay, so you know what else is crazy? Florida as a state is just fucking crazy. Right, yeah, dude. We all agree on that's why I say I'm, you know, I'm still a Texan. Okay. <laughs> Here, you know. I, I try to, yeah, my allegiance to Florida isn't really there. Not that strong. Don't no. say it too loud. <laughs> okay. yeah. you, you are in Florida right now. I know. All right, so this is... Everyone the, from New York anyway. That's true. <laughs> Nobody's actually from Florida. They no, they're not. Nobody's born there. Hardly. Okay, so I uh, saw this thing on the internet that apparently if you type in your date of birth with not the year, and you just put your date of birth and then Florida man, it'll give you like a, oh. it'll give you a headline from that day in Florida. So I went ahead and did that for all of us. Oh nice. boy. Who, who wants to go first? Whose birthday do we want to look at first? Let's Who's next? Whose birthday is next? Technically, Lena's is next. When is her birthday? October 1st. Yee! Past the past. So do you guys want to do hers? Go for it. Yeah. yeah. So this is October 1st, Florida man. <laughs> yeah, it's my stepdaughter's birthday. That's right. So this is October 1st, 2019. Yeah. Can we <laughs> make sure to specify the city in Florida? Because I think there's a big distinction. In- no, Florida's it's Florida. Florida. <laughs> Everywhere is Florida. <laughs> okay, well, Florida. let me, uh, I mean, this one I think is, uh, well, okay, well, this one's in Miami. Oh, no, never mind. So, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you think about it, Just well, if you it. once you hear the 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 headline, then you'll know why. So it says Florida right. man, Florida man tried to sell beer for seven hundred and twenty four dollars at a Dolphins game. Police say. Sounds good. <laughs> I mean, hey, man's gotta make his money. That's Miami. <laughs> <laughs> Just a brief part of this. Sounds like me. If you're going to a sporting event, it's probably a good idea to bring along some extra cash for concessions. <laughs> After all, vendors notoriously mark up food prices at stadiums. That's very true. But if someone tries to charge you hundreds of dollars for a couple of beers, you should call the police. That's what a man did Sunday during a Miami's (laughs) Dolphin game at Hard Rock Stadium. Oh, shit. Dude, I wonder if anybody actually had bought it. I mean, he was trying to sell it. I I guess whoever he tried to sell it to, they ratted on his ass. So, sucks for him. Okay, so who's... Should have taken my 200 bucks. Oh, yeah. yeah uh, <laughs> we're going through the calendar. Misa, you're next. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, um, here we go. Here we go. This is uh, in Pensacola, Florida. This <laughs> is November 1st, 2018. And the headline, guys, is... Um, it says... Hold on. Sorry. I can't read it. A uh, Florida man barges into homes looking for fights, gets pizza, and arrested. Nice. That sounds like me in high school, dude. <laughs> okay, so I'm just a little expert. A drunken, shirtless man allegedly barged into several Pensacola homes looking for a fight before running into a fence and knocking himself out, according to Escambia County Sheriff Office reports. Uh, how high was he? <laughs> hey, well, guess what? Maybe he was just mad. Hey, guess what his name was? Chris. Christopher. Oh. <laughs> Marcus. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's crazy. Okay, so next would be Amanda. So whose has been the wildest? I think Mises has been the wildest so far. <laughs> yeah, definitely wild. Okay, so this is a- April 24th. This is Florida. Um, this is Deadland, Florida. And this is in 2019. Florida man stabbed nephew for hogging bathroom. <laughs> wow. God, what year was this? This was in 2019. Oh, shit. Dude, this is all recent, huh? Jeez, yeah. boy, it's just the people in Florida is just getting bad, dude. Okay, so. They need to get out. No, they need to get two bathrooms in that house. 
Authorities say a 72-year-old 70, man repeatedly stabbed his nephew because he was taking too long in the bathroom. Sure. What do you think he was doing in there, Misa? I don't, Dude, I don't know. Maybe he had some taco C or something. <laughs> Maybe he had the runs. All right. Yeah, Watch out how long you take in the bathroom. because you know, <laughs> he, he was literally trying to cut that shit that short, you know? <laughs> literally. <laughs> okay, so um, on my birthday, July 28th, 2018, Florida man makes beer run with gator in hand. <laughs> Yo, dude, would that, that be considered, like, armed and dangerous? Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> Gator. That's to bite you. That was in Jacksonville. And it says a man yeah. ran into a Florida convenience store carrying a live alligator with its mouth taped shut. Oh sh- well, at least he was courteous and he taped the mouth shut. True. He was looking out for people. Slapping yeah. everybody with a tail. Maybe that was his support animal. <laughs> uh, <laughs> was <laughs> that was his dinner. <laughs> uh, that's funny so let's do today's august 9th florida man and see what we get so august 9th florida man florida man claimed to be surrounded by cats and alligators before being arrested for murder what <laughs> um, can, can you do that again it said florida man claimed to be surrounded by cats and alligators before being arrested for murder I don't know cats. That's why I don't like cats too. Yeah, dude. Or I'm with you. I hate them. So yeah. I don't know. I, that's kind of crazy. Fucking Florida. I mean, shout out to you. You could have picked any other state. You fucking. Oh, well. But it's cool down there, I guess. It's nice. So. <laughs> hey, paradise has a price. I guess you have a price to pay for living in paradise. Yes. Yeah. I, yes. Yeah. <laughs> What's the what price? Paradise. No, the craziness you have to deal with and all the people. That's Jesus, true. dude. All right, so we're going to talk a little bit. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen that explosion that ha- happened in, in Beirut. Did you see that, Misa? Oh, dude, that was crazy, man. Amanda, did you see that? I had heard of it. I didn't actually really start looking at it until a little earlier today. But, yeah, that's crazy. It's sad. It's, yeah, there's some dude, those videos are crazy, man. Videos are ruthless, dude. There's some like super graphic, super ridiculous ones, um, but yeah, yeah it's super scary. So, uh, for anybody who doesn't know, essentially what happened, um, it was this was August fourth, so this was five days ago. Uh, two explosions occur- occurred at the port city of Beirut, the capital of Lebanon. So this is in the Middle East. Um, this the the blast resulted in 220 deaths and 7,000 injured. And uh, they, it left 300,000 people homeless from the blast. Dude, have you seen the, the photos from the sky, how it left the crater? Yeah. Like, it took out a huge chunk of that, of that whole port, and it's all full of water now. It's insane. Insane. It's like a meteor just hit right there, and bam. So you didn't see, like, much of this at all, Amanda? No. Um. I honestly don't like. I feel she's like in, I she's like, in Florida, bro. There's there's other crazy news going right around. Now, I just feel with my work schedule that I kind of like live under a rock, and like the one thing I don't really pay attention to is like the news. Dude, uh, the explosion in Beirut and and Beirut doesn't even crack the top five fucking daily news. <laughs> <laughs> Not over here. No, like, no. But yeah, dude, that's crazy. Like that. What? Um. So. What essentially they had, they were store- storing ammonium nitrate, and they had about two thousand seven hundred and ten long tons. I don't know what long tons mean, but that sounds like a buckload of they're, they're tons, but long. Hey, but what do you use that for? I think they say uh, it was like a fertilizer. I don't know. That's a good question. What do you use that for? Let's see. Let's see. Ammonium- it's like why 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 store it there? Well, so close to so many people. Supposedly, it's they were storing it there because like they couldn't find anywhere else to store it. That's the one that they like confiscated or something. Or yeah, it's like okay, so oh, damn, this is crazy. It is no, pre- predominantly crazy. used in agriculture, so it's a fertilizer. Yeah, um, but it's They're very combustible. 
Yeah, very combustible. And when you have that much of it, dude, in, in the video, when you see like the explosion waves coming and then like the people that are videotaping, they just get like. Dude, you see the buildings just like, dude, like, like, have you seen those old videos to, like of, of them testing out the nuclear bombs? Yeah, like back then? in New Mexico where they would. Yeah. You're right up the road. Yeah. <laughs> My backyard. My backyard. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah dude it's it, it was it's intense it's crazy yeah dude that shit was mm-hmm. real as fuck man god bless and it's sad because yeah a lot of people got just like lost their lives and like i think now actually they're having like some sort of like protest uh because the government i guess just like knew about this and they kind of they, they still didn't they, protect the they didn't yeah, like they're, they're rioting right now yeah because like s- they're claiming that there's a lot of negligence on the part of the government and that this fucking all this chemicals shouldn't have been stored in this port for as long as they've been. And then they kind of always knew something like this was possible. And then, you know, until it and then when you store fireworks right next door, like, yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, that's that's not- a recipe for disaster. Did they knowingly store fireworks and be like, yeah, let's just take our chances. I don't know. I mean, it's fucking sad. It's just one of those things that it, it's negligence on people on power and the citizens. government negligence. Yeah, like it's just, it's really heartbreaking because lives are lost. So, all right, guys. So, we're at the 31st minute mark. Uh, before we take a break, Misa's got his thoughts from the shower again, right, Misa? Mm-hmm. All right. So, uh, Amanda, did you hear the thoughts from the shower last time? Yeah, I did. Okay. What did, are you a fan of the segment? I really like it. I think it's hilarious. Yeah, I like it. I know that like there's a few of them that I kind of like laughed out loud. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. So in the episode that's coming out today, Misa's got some more thoughts, and then he's got some more thoughts for us today, and then we'll, after that stuff. we'll take our break. So. Mm-hmm. Get this water going. Mm-hmm. Hey, hey. If practice makes perfect, <laughs> but no one is perfect, then why practice? Hmm. Hey. Hey. Hmm. Can deaf people hear their thoughts? Hmm. Oh, fuck. <laughs> That's a heavy question. That's a heavy hmm. question, okay. Hey. Hey, wait. It's. Is cereal considered a soup? Hmm. <laughs> oh, I'm yes. hungry now. Hmm. <laughs> All right. So, those are good. Oh. Well, we've already dissected one of those on this podcast, like on the second episode. The oh, soup the is cereal? is cereal soup. We've had this discussion. No, it's not because it's not warm. Me and Sa- me and Sam. I don't know. Okay, no, me and Sam had it the other way. Is soup cereal? Is soup cereal? Yeah. Yeah. It's a soup. I don't know. <laughs> it's a soup. I'm so confused. It's like tomato soup. You could just say tomato cereal. Yeah. Do it's a tomato no. cereal. Yeah. I just, when I think of cereal, I think of dairy. When I think of soup, I think of broth. Okay. Yeah. I get it. I, she has a point, but yeah, there are like cream based soups. They're kind of the same thing. Okay, but then here's the next thing, the temperature. I think <laughs> Hey, what about what about that soup where you put like um like cereal and milk? What? Soup. Oh, look. <laughs> so it can't be cereal because here's the definition of cereal. <laughs> here's the definition. <laughs> what did I think of that? Mm. Um it's a grain used for food such as wheat, oats or corn. Okay. Mm. Corn. All right. Mm. So, okay then. <laughs> To, can't be cereal. To backpack off of that, then real fast, guys. I'm gonna go around oh to each one of you, and you have to answer: Is a hot dog a sandwich? Yes or no, Misa? Uh, yes. Okay. Yes. Fuck <laughs> yes. <laughs> Amanda, is a hot dog a sandwich? I've never thought about it, but is it or not? Me or no? I guess. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good answer, Lena. Yes. Everybody agrees. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> All right. What was the other one that you had, Misa? Um, if practice makes perfect, but nobody's perfect, then why practice? Mm-hmm. Straight okay. up. That's the conundrum. You know, you, oh, you should have asked it. If practice makes perfect and nobody's perfect, then what does practice make? 
perfect? No, because nobody, <laughs> <laughs> just nobody's perfect. Okay, so what? Yeah, I don't know. What are your thoughts on that? Nothing. <laughs> what do you think? Why do we practice things? Just to, just to do it. <laughs> because we're bored and we just practice. Yeah, dude. To, to fill some time. Yeah, dude. Okay, so practice doesn't make perfect. It makes for time being filled. Mm. Mm-hmm. All right, and the you make for improvement. Of, you can't say perfect. Yeah, at least you'll get a little bit better. But, but you will get better. <laughs> but I want perfect. <laughs> if you ain't first, you're last. Okay. All right. So I'm, I'm trying to improve um, at the driving range. I'm never going to be perfect. I'm far from it. But the more you do it, the better you get. The more practice. If I don't go for a while, then I totally suck like this last time. Okay. All right, Misa, what was that last one you had? I asked if, uh, if deaf people, can they hear their thoughts? Dude, this and is- actually, actually, I had heard something a while back about that. Somebody had asked a person, and they said it's actually like they, um, they, they kind of just think of, of like the sign language, right? Like if they really think of, of like visualizing what they're thinking or, you know, how they're getting their thoughts. That's what this person said is like pretty much like sign language inside their head. So they just see sign language. That would make sense. Yeah. Right. Like was, what language. Yeah, for sure. They're able to like, cause they, they can still think. So they still have thoughts. Yeah. But you guys are right. forgetting that just because they're deaf doesn't mean they can't smell or see. So it's like when it means completing a picture, that's only one sense. You know what I mean? So their thought process isn't, I don't feel like it's going to be, just sign language because they can see pictures just as vividly as we can. Yeah, but no, like because your thoughts are are things you understand in your mind, right? And if you don't understand word, spoken word, then you would understand sign language. And like what, like like when you talk to yourself, like how, in your head, you know, like how do they do it? Like, and for them, or well, for this person, that's how they visualized it. How they visualize talking to themselves. Because yeah, they've never sense. known that sense. Yeah, because right. it's their communication method. What do you think about this, Amanda? I don't know. It's crazy to think that, like, there's people out there that don't hear their voices like we do. Yep. Right, yeah. You know, and it's 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 sad, but um, yeah, I don't know. I don't even know how I could even visualize that. I've just seen sign language. But then, what if? you're deaf and you've never been introduced to sign language. You still have thoughts. Right, yeah. Wow. (laughs) (laughs) That's what I was thinking in the shower. (laughs) Like, what if you're an orphan? That is in the shower right now, yo. She's just... (laughs) (laughs) She's all like, let me me go in here and try it. You flip the question, like, all the way on its head. (laughs) But, you know, there's... Lena, are you taking notes? Because I, I wasn't. <laughs> Honestly, I feel, I don't know. I feel oh, like it's shit. A, it's a, Damn, Ama- I don't know. Amanda like, just broke my brain right there. <laughs> it's kind of like, it's kind of like, um, I used to hear this as a joke before. But if you really think about it, it, it somebody used to tell me like, hey, like, um, like, I had a friend in elementary that his grandpa was was completely blind and somebody had asked him, Hey, how does he know when to stop wiping? And we just like laugh about it, you know, just cause it sounded funny. But then it made me think like, yo, you know, when you can't see something like, <laughs> like you know, like filling up your cup, you know, how do you know how, I don't know. <laughs> He's like, I, don't, like, I, don't. <laughs> no, I still don't know. If you're filling a cup and say you're blind, you have your touch, you have your hearing, you have like other senses. To You'll be able to measure it in other yeah, ways. Yeah, like, and when it comes so to- So you stop, like, once you start hearing the liquid like, spill over? Uh, I feel like- Like, oh, oh no. no I feel After like, you feel it a little. Yeah, I feel yeah. like the weight of it, you, you'd be able to use the weight of it to gauge, like, okay. Or maybe put your finger inside until it fills up to a certain point. Or, oh, That's a good way of doing it. Innovation, bro. Yeah, but see- I mean, you, just, you just did what I was thinking about oh, right there. There you go. You also underestimate like your body's and brain's ability to connect to your body. So just because you can't see your body, you can feel it. You know what I mean? Like you have a like daredevil. Fucking a. No man, no, no, no. 
All right, on that note, guys, <laughs> we're gonna go to <laughs> we're gonna go to break <laughs> because of Daredevil. <laughs> but what do we get? Back? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go see that movie tonight, dude. I forgot, dude. Oh uh, shit! Yeah. But, that movie. but when we get back, guys, we're gonna do a few more segments. Name that hit segment. Funniest scenes from the internet. And Amanda's also going to be given the stage to talk about our boy, Donald Trump. <laughs> when we get back, guys, that's what we're going to, um, that's what we're going to be giving you guys. So, um, this is conversing with Chris and Misa, the podcast. This is episode number 39 and we will be right back. Can All right. Come back to Chris. We are back <laughs> from break episode motherfucking 39. Yeah, 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 yeah. 39 already. That's awesome. It's crazy. Wow. My sister Amanda Marcus, as you can hear her, uh, thank you for sh- for joining us today. We do appreciate that coming yeah. through all the way from Florida. Uh, you, know, you know, it's weird. What's weird? Hearing you like refer to me as Marquez. Uh, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, my bad. Uh, no, 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 it's fine because yeah, she's, I don't hear it often. You know, she misses it. Yeah, I'm like, oh. Oh. oh man, I'm an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Damn it, Chris. God bless. God. Bless. <laughs> My alter ego. Can't even get her fucking name right. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> all right. So anyway, uh, besides that, besides the fact that I've been butchering your name all day, um, how are you feeling the podcast? <laughs> I'm having fun. Okay, cool. It's good to be here. With especially now with the video. Yeah, the video is a nice little touch. Yeah. You see Misa's face, you know? He's a funny guy. And this is my first time, you know, on here with Misa before it was before yeah. he had a co host. Yeah, before Misa was just like a myth, like a legend. The myth and the legend. Before it was cool. And now, okay. look, he's here in the flesh. Look at him. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we want to do a few things for you guys here on the second part of this podcast. Um, one of them being. Um, my sister here is a Trump supporter. Who? Um, we gave hey, what? We gave the platform. Hey, who? <laughs> Let me talk. They do what? <laughs> Let me talk. Yeah, we gave the platform to somebody, uh, our friend Krista Ayers, that's an avid um, Trump, uh, not supporter, so I guess a Trump hater. Um, so we thought we would bring on the other side of it and bring on a Trump supporter to kind of see where we can um, bridge some gaps here. So, Amanda. Uh, see Amanda getting ready for it. Look at her. She's like, like, <laughs> let me get my... Mm. The way that you would, like, crack your neck before... Yeah. Right. That's the knuckles. Sure you got a yeah. refill. Shit. Okay, so what do you want to... <laughs> what do you want to say? Uh, what do you want to say, um, given where we are as a country and... and uh, the state of the presidency with your boy Donald. Go ahead. Let me first say Uh-oh. I am a conservative. Okay. So I'm not necessarily a Trump supporter. I wasn't thrilled about him. It took a lot out of me, honestly, from to that very moment that I was like circling the ballot to like just do it, you know? So I'm not, I know he's not a nice guy, you know, and he says some, a lot of crazy shit, but I think it's more so like a values issue that's going on right now, not so much the, the figurehead of either party, because you look at Joe Biden, you know, he's exactly what the Democratic <gasps> Party talks about and hates on, which is the rich old white man. And there they are nominating him again. That dude can't even remember his name. Right. Why? Because he's a safe choice. You know? It shouldn't Uh, come down to, like, last resort. Last resort choices. Like, you would think, I don't know, that it would be better. Hey, but it's 2020, so it's like, all right. Both parties can do better, you know? But then again, in my opinion, political parties are, are useless. You know, they do more harm than good. At this oh point, that's God. what it feels like because nobody, like, there's, it's an either or, and it's, that's it. There's no compromise. There's yeah, no- there's no, part like, bipartisan anymore. You know, well, you used to hear a lot about bipartisan hey, bills and things in, like in that. Your, 
in your opinion, since Trump became president, have have you have you seen or have you agreed with everything? Are you satisfied with how everything's been turned out so far? I would say I'm more satisfied than dissatisfied. You know, every all the talk about you know him taking over as president was loom and gloom and you know like we're going to be in world war three and things like that like i honestly do believe that it's kind of shifted us back to um focusing inward you know i'm i think the pandemic kind of showed it like every country is really out there for themselves and i do think that our country is stronger today than had hillary clinton been elected president i really do believe that hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, think Hillary Clinton could do a better job in jail. Well, when it comes to- <laughs> 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 we can speculate at who would do better at this, who would do this at that, but a lot of this is what ifs and the cards that were dealt with at hand, like this is where it's been so far. So it's like we could sit here and be like, oh, Hillary would be better or worse, but we, we don't know because she's not here. No, we do. Well, <laughs> <laughs> it's just one of those things, you know, like just educating yourself and figuring out, all right, well, if you're upset, you're not, whatever, like you got to figure out how you feel about it. That's really what it comes down to and where you relate to the politics. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Like everyone has a different value system. So it's going to resonate with everyone differently, you know? And I was hoping for Kanye West, dude. No, hold, no, don't even, no, don't even bring that shit up anymore. Oh, no, no, no. Um, fucking okay. So, let's let's kind of peel back the curtain though, like, cause I know, like, I know, like, how you said you feel like we're better today than than we are as a country, like that we're better as a country today than we were, like, pre-Trump, I guess. But I mean, like you can't deny like how bad he's kind of dropped the ball on some of these issues. Like, it's 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 almost like alarming to the fact that like some people don't realize this. Like, I don't, I don't think he did a good job with COVID and he definitely hasn't done anything to help uh, race tensions in America. That's for sure. Well, like, come on, like you can't, you, that's hard to, no. but you know, how does any, anybody react to that or handle that? You know, it's not something that's like, you know, in the, presidential manual 101 you know this is manuals and books in that interview with hbo that he had the other day i don't know oh jesus (laughs) look at the manuals look at the books (laughs) and even the reporter was like what fucking manuals his face was like well okay but i'll give you that yes Uh, a global pandemic is something unforeseen and you know but like okay at the same time, there's other countries that, that have gotten their shit together way better than us. Right, yeah, but it's also, if you look at our country, our country shakes up a little bit different than the rest of the world, just given on its size. Yeah, of course. You know? So it's like, how do you, like, mandate something federally? Well, I think one thing for sure that he did that I don't think is right is he fucking politicized the virus. He, call, he calls it the China virus. Yeah, but still politicize the virus. But yeah, the whole name thing, like, come on. It's just, at the end of the day, he is one of many presidents that utilize language and weaponize it because the way that you address things, the way that you talk about things, whether you acknowledge it or choose not to acknowledge it, that speaks volumes. And I think in, in some situations, it's worrisome that if you're in this in this position of power and you don't know what to do, and you don't seem to surround yourself with people who are going to help you for the benefit, not just kind of tell you what you think is best, like, because he hasn't been here before. So I would assume that you have a better team in place, but it's like, he's proving maybe to not do the best. You have a high turnover and it's like, what, you know, like, it's worrisome that he doesn't know what to do. If that's the case, then why do you have this position of power? And why is this continuing? Say something. <laughs> I'll, say, I'll say one other thing. Wait, you froze or who froze? Yeah, 
Yeah, she said it. I think mine froze. Okay, so you, what did you last hear? <laughs> um, about using that or being in that position of power. So yeah, essentially you heard the gist of it, but yeah. yeah. One final thing, and this is the last point I'm going to make, Bye. and like, and 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 then we'll go on from here. But like, okay, do you believe that this guy had aid from Russia in the election? I don't think so. You don't think it's so? proven. Okay, so you, you don't think so. Okay, no. so then why why can't we do mail in voting? I personally do not agree with mail in voting. Okay, so. I'm not a fan of one, not because because I, I know the government's incompetent and I don't trust them with handling that process. You know, there's fraud even when you do go to the, your polling station and you're filling out your ballot or you're doing the electronic one. There is, but I don't know, to me, I, there's something about me actually doing it myself and submitting the result myself than just tossing it in the mail. They lose so many things every single day, okay. you know, like. I, um, last thing. You, or for it, by all means, it's just not something I agree with or I'm going to get lost. Well, that's what I'm saying is like, that's what I'm saying, like politicizing the pandemic. Like he's politicizing it, like saying, oh, there's a pandemic, no mail-in voting. Fuck no, that's not going to be allowed. Like, what the fuck is that? But anyways, last question. Is he gonna is he gonna get reelected? Yes or no? Honestly, I do think so. Just just because Joe Biden isn't, you know what I mean? Okay, yeah, but uh, you can I I understand the reason they they go with Biden because if you need to beat Trump, he's the only guy that can beat Trump. There's nobody else right. that's gonna be able to beat him. But it disenfranchises their demographic that's like the largest numbers, which is the young voter. Hey. Yeah, but at the same time, if you put somebody else that's a younger candidate, you're undermining the whole situation because he has no chance against Trump. It's a political campaign, so you need to understand who your opponent is and how to beat him. So that's why you pick Yeah, up. and you know what? It's also going to take his choice for VP. You know, that's I think that, that could make a big, big difference. It's going to be interesting here. Yeah. Like, that's kind of what I'm concerned with. Like... Biden, I voted for Biden when he was Obama's running mate, you know? Like, didn't we shake the dude's hand, remember, bro? Yeah, we saw him in fucking uh, New Mexico, remember? In yeah. So in it's the like, I've been on both sides of the aisle, but his running mate is going to be really significant because it's going to get... Get Bernie Sanders on his side. <laughs> no. <laughs> you couldn't put a detail aside for that. No. It should be a female. So... All right, guys. So that was po talking politics with conversing with Chris and Lisa <laughs> in the podcast. Um, we don't do a lot of politics, but I think it's good to uh, have a, a platform where people can come and share their views. Even if we don't agree with it, uh, we can still talk about it like, like adults and, you know, have um, open-minded conversations. Um, yeah, I muted. I muted this whole shit. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be able to listen to other people's oh, yeah. The whole time. You said, <laughs> I was just nodding my head like. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's uh, switch gears to some lighter notes here, guys. Um, we also have another segment that we want to get into. This is the name that hit segment. Essentially, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read lyrics to popular songs. And Misa and Amanda are going to have to try to guess them. Uh, there's, five, there's five songs. And we'll see if Amanda could take down Misa. Misa did really well last time. Um, he's beaten Matt. No, Matt beat you last time. He got the Drake's on. What but, is it? Oh, that's right. Yeah, but, but it's Drake. Come on. Yeah, but Misa. Hey. I give it to him. Misa mopped up Kevin in the mm. other episode. So mm. uh, we got some songs for you here. Uh, I have to read them in like a different accent. So I might <laughs> you know, start speaking a little weird. I so I'm going to. Who, who, you want to read the first one, Elena, or you I'm want ready. me to read it? Wait, who sings the first one? Um, Lena sings it. <laughs> so who answers first? So I'm gonna. You're gonna. Don't Misa. Don't shout out like last time. How about how about this? How about this? How about this? When you read it out loud, whenever whoever one of us is ready, we'll raise our hand. Yeah, yeah raise your hand, okay. and then you'll say it. And then Chris, you don't say anything until I go, or you know, the person hasn't gone yet. Okay. All right. Okay. So go ahead and read it. Oh shit! I can't read it. Hold on. I got you. I'm gonna get my hand ready like right here. So when you see this, Chris, 
close Jeopardy. Okay. Hey. Okay, there we go. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh boy. Aha, uh -huh. and you don't even have to ask me twice. You could have my heart or we could share it like that last slice. I'll be not like you was so accustomed to the fast life. Have a thinking that he met you in a past life. Wet pants, hair tied, chilling with no makeup on. That's when you're the prettiest. I hope that you don't take it wrong. Oh, oh I like a better I'm got him. He said it. Drake fancy. Uh, no, you got the wrong one. Wrong it's son. Still Drake, though. Misa, you could steal it. Uh, no, I don't know. No. I know it's Drake, but I don't know. Uh, you guys are both wrong on that one. What that was a shitty. Shitty song. Shitty song? That, that song. Ah! <laughs> okay. That was, the song. that was the Drake best I ever had. Ah. Okay, come on, guys. All right, so zero, zero through the first one. You guys ready for the second song? Yes. <laughs> it's just like, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to read it, read it in my, in my uh, British voice, guys. Oh. So, okay. Oh, God. <laughs> one thingeth. And I don't know why if it doesn't even matter how hard you try if. Oh, Misa, wow. Oh. Lincoln Park in the end. That's oh. right. Mm. Oh, my God. Mm. Mm. I it was Lincoln Park. Wow. <laughs> okay, go. nice. Dude, oh, wait, that wait, was wait. probably one of the fastest ones we get so. we've had. Yeah, dude. That, was, shit, that song stuck in back of my head like. Uh, one like middle school. I don't know so why. No matter how hard you try. Ba, 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 All right. Yeah, you guys are tied. Bars. Okay. How are, how are they tied? Yeah, well, he's beating me. Amanda gets Drake. Oh, she got the Drake one. Yeah. I didn't get the song yeah. though. I'll give you the artist. As it's long okay. As you have the artist. You're a guest. I'll give it to you. That's all right. I right. like you're gonna win. This game doesn't matter oh. for me, did anyway. <laughs> no, you do this one. You do uh, this okay. one. Okay. So, all right. Ready for do the third one? I don't know. Uh, okay, let me see. Now I can see that we've fallen <laughs> apart from the way it used to be. Yeah, no matter the distance, I want you to know that. Oh my God! Out of me, you are my fire, the one desire. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> okay, you guys want me to read it again? Okay, just yeah. Read it. Just okay, read it right no, here. no, we're going even more oh, hick here. God. Ready for <laughs> now that you can see we've fallen apart from the way that it used to be, yeah. No matter the distance, I want you to know that deep down inside of me, you are my fire, the one desire. <laughs> That's so bad. Is it Backstreet Boys? Oh! No! <laughs> oh, yes. What song is it? Amanda. You got it. What song is it? Come on. Hold on. Now that I see oh, that we're falling apart from the way. I'm not a blank. Ruby. I want to know it. Yay. I want it that way. Yeah, that, there you go. I want it. Whatever. Okay. Okay. All right, Lena's going to read this book. Wait, now I'm winning, right? Yeah, you're up. You I need it bigger. I can't see. I'm blind. That's what she said. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I said that out loud. Yeah. Oh, there's a mic in front of me. I oh, forgot. Shit. All right, hold on. All right. Okay, okay. <laughs> She's going to get this one. I know she is. Rub is a guy that thinks he's fly. And also known as a buster, always talking about what he wants and just sits on his broke ass. So, no. Oh. <laughs> TLC Waterfalls, right? Oh. Oh, no. It's Scrubs. 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 <laughs> okay, he got it. Oh. Okay, go. Give it to him to make it interesting. So, we go into the last two one. And two. two and two. Don't go chasing oh. waterfalls. It's the Scrubs song. Chris, that song, Chasing Waterfall. Okay. Last one, guys. This is for the game here. 
Misa's got two. Amanda's got two. Ooh. Who's going to bring it home? So, what do you guys want? The British accent? The country accent? What do you guys want? I don't know. Surprises. Okay. Cigarettes in a headband. Oh, shit. Commas, commas in my head, man. <laughs> Slumped over like a dead man. Aye. Red and black about my bread, man. I'm the answer, never question. Lace up, learn a lesson. What? <laughs> yeah. That's probably some like rap song or something. Oh, oh my it. god. It's like I don't know. Come I come on, it. guys. Is that Travis Scott? Uh it. no, it's not Travis Scott, but you're you're getting you're getting close. Think think newer, yeah. I don't know much newer. Thomas Thomas in my head, man. Lumped over like a dead man. Red and black about my bread, man. I'm the answer, never question. Lace up, learn a lesson. I thought this was gonna be a good one, but evidently not. Clearly not. It's not. It's not gonna work, is it? Nope. No. Who is it? It's Post Malone, White Iverson. Uh, oh my no. God! You guys suck, man. Come on. Or you suck? No, 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 no. Nah, dude. You guys suck. Song, man. Okay, so then we need another song to uh, to break this up. So I'm bringing that up right now. Give me one second. Um. Let me see. Let me see. Let me I think see. you're going in extra innings, huh? Uh, da, 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 uh, 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 uh. No, I don't think this was going to be one. Um, I, I know. I got it. Okay. Yeah. I think we've done this on before, but I don't know. Okay. So, who's ready? Are you guys ready for this? Yep. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we did this one. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, do Okay, um... hold on, I got you. I know. <clears throat> when you say that you love a myth and you really knoweth, everything that used to matter if don't matter no more if. Like money, all my cars if you can have it all. Flowers, cards, and candy if <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. We've done this song before. Oh my god. Usher. <laughs> hey, Usher. There you go. She got it. What song? I, I... She got it. Okay. Uh, I so, let her have it. Uh, yeah, right. Get it, it. She lives in Florida, man. She probably had a bad day or something. She had a rough day today. So she'll do <laughs> that one. Does this vote for Florida? <laughs> <laughs> the participation right. award for Florida. <laughs> Okay, so guys, let's uh, keep the podcast moving here. We're going to do the funniest scene from the internet today. Uh, this segment is when we go around the internet or around the internet, around the virtual Zoom call, and we kind of everybody share a meme or a tweet, something funny. Um, who wants to go first today? I'll go first, dude. I thought mine was just like, um, it's hilarious. It was, it was like 2.30 in the morning when I read this, people are pulling out to go to work. And it was like a, it was a picture of 50 Cent, and the top it said, um, "What does 50 do when he's hungry?" And at the bottom it set the number 58. <laughs> <laughs> that just made me laugh so bad. 58. That's me oh, when shit. I saw it too. All right, what do you got, Lana? Oh, okay, I'm ready. So there's this comedian I like. Her name is Wolfie. 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 <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> gonna tell my kids. Gonna tell my kids this was the war on hugs. What? Gonna Wait, repeat it. Kids. Repeat it. Repeat it. <laughs> repeat it. Gonna tell my kids this is the war on drugs. Hugs. <laughs> 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 is that in reference to the whole COVID situation? Yeah. This, okay, this is the war on hugs. Okay. Right. What's, what's yours? Oh, okay, now I get it. You didn't get it at first. Like, <laughs> screw me, but I didn't get it at first. <laughs> well, she said drugs, and I was like, yo, what? <laughs> okay, so, Amanda, what do you got? All right, so there's this meme, right? So She's already laughing. <laughs> oh, it's like this little kid, he's 
chubby little guy, and he's trying to squeeze into a fence pole. Please. He's in a fence in a, in a building, and it says, me trying to slide into heaven acting after acting a damn fool on earth. <laughs> That's crazy, right? That, like, uh, just trying to make his way in, like, <laughs> casually. I can just squeeze on by. <clears throat> okay, so the one I got for you guys. Um, like I said, there was a recently an interview that HBO did with our boy Donald Trump. And in the interview, he um, pulls out some charts and photographs and is handing them to the, the guy who's uh, conducting the interview. And one of the tr- one of the charts it reads uh, the J in Donald J Trump stands for genius. Oh, <laughs> uh, dude, you gotta good. you gotta post it. You gotta post yeah, it. Yeah, that was a good one. So uh, that, <laughs> those were our funniest scenes from the internet today, guys. Uh, I hope you liked them. I thought they, they were pretty funny. Good job, everyone. You guys really came through today when I was counting on you. Yeah, yeah. To that. So. We're going to get ready to wrap up this podcast. Before we do that, what we like to do with our guests is ask them some five random questions. And we're going to go ahead and get into that. Misa, are you ready for this? Lena, are you ready for this? A show. Amanda, are you ready for them to be ready for this? Okay. Yeah. All right, guys. So I think you already might have answered this question for us earlier, Amanda, just through the conversation. But question number one was going to be, Texas or Florida for the rest of your life. But I want to preface it by saying that you could like have any job regardless of the place. Your family could be there. It's literally where would you want to pick to be? Location. Oh. Stump. Texas. Texas? (laughs) Best country in America. Best country in America. Howdy. Like Central Texas. Okay. Oh. oh. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, because El Paso is not part of Texas. I don't know if you guys realize. It's part of. We're Texas. not part. We're not part of anything. Yeah, we're we're, our own we're part place. of Teje Mexico. That's Teje Mexico? Chuco Town. Yeah. Okay. So, question number two: Would you consider yourself a night person or a morning person? Ooh. Definitely now more a morning person. Well, it's weird because I worked third shift, so I honestly don't know. <laughs> like on your day off, would you be like a morning person? I usually wake up early because I pass out like, I'm surprised I'm still awake, you know. <laughs> pass out by now. Thank, you. Thank you for that. I used to be a huge night owl, but, you know, I guess as you grow up, you get into real world jobs, that kind of changes and you're just in bed early. It's like that saying, dude, when we were, when we were younger, we used to hate naps and spankings. And yeah. as adults, we love them. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking the naps. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. Yeah. No, this is a good question for you. I want to see if you can answer this. Um, how many dots are on a die? One single die. Yeah. How many dots are there? <laughs> Look, she's all oh, yeah. doing that. Oh, she got it right. You're a cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. Why? She did the math in her head. Are we sure? How did you do that? Six, I five, know. four, three, two, one. One plus two is three. Three plus three is six. Okay. I thought six. it was like a more complicated like solution, no, it's honestly. Simple. It's simple. <laughs> <laughs> and book. she's and she's half asleep, Chris. Yeah. Yeah, that's one thing I've learned about math is just keep it simple. Okay. Don't uh, overcomplicate it. Question number four: um, What are the three primary colors? You know this, Misa? Um, I think so. When do you learn this? Like first grade? I don't know. I don't even remember learning this. I learned it on the internet a today. Long time ago. <laughs> Have your kids learned it, Misa? Um, my kids haven't learned shit. <laughs> They teach me actually, <laughs> so we don't know nothing. <laughs> no, actually, um, thinking about it, no, I don't think so. Maybe my daughter; she knows everything. Mostly, <laughs> daughters do. Okay. Yeah, so, do you know the three primary colors or no? I'm gonna guess red. Yeah, nope. that's one of them. Yellow and blue. 
Hey, there you go. Spot on. Nice. You know what, you know what primary oh, colors nice. mean, Misa? Do you know what that is? Like um, colors that are primary? Oh, yes, exactly. <laughs> so, like, what, all colors derive from them? Yeah, every color derives from some of these, a combination of these colors. So, like, lavender derives from some weird combination of those. Blue and yeah. yellow with a little red in there. I don't know. Don't ask me. I found Black? It. Black? Ask the internet. Yeah, how do you get to black? Well, black Mix is- them all up. Colors, and then you got to mix all those colors. Yeah, you just got to mix the shit out of it. And then it's just curse while you're doing it. <laughs> yep. All right, Thanks, so- I got one more question. Lena has a bonus question for you, I think. Do you have a bonus question for her? Or no? Uh, I've already answered the usual one. So. Okay, yeah. So Ooh. we're not going to do that one. Okay. Let's find a different one. So question <laughs> okay. number five. If you pull up to a Whataburger, right? You're pulling in. Okay, I got one. Oh. What's, your, uh, to, what's your go-to order? Let me just say, Whataburger was one of the best things about being home recently. <laughs> it's the best thing in El Paso, honestly. Yeah. yeah. One of the best things. Podcast. You hey. hey! It's oh. lit. Okay. <laughs> See, that's different. Are we talking breakfast or lunch? Um, let's go lunch. <laughs> lunch. I'm a lunch guy. All right. Dinner. Bacon, Whataburger with cheese. No to mm. Add jalapeno. Ooh. Number five with jalapeno. There you go. So, yeah. Sounds like Misa's real familiar with that. Mm. I know yeah, that. I didn't remember what number it was. Number five, I'm telling you. Yeah, number five. Well, that sounds about right. <laughs> yeah. It's a bacon cheeseburger. Anybody, yeah. anybody got any more questions for Amanda here? Amanda, I'm ready for you. Go. One word to describe Chris as a baby. <laughs> As a baby or as a kid? I'm going to go as a kid. Well, let's do baby and kid. She probably doesn't Honestly, know. seriously, I don't have any recollection of Chris as a baby. Okay, okay. So the <laughs> I don't think he ever was a baby. Look at him. <laughs> There's no baby pictures of him. Really? There's not. There's like toddler and up. Yeah. Okay, okay. So what happened in those years? Hmm. Really- I mean, Say we found him floating down the river. So yeah. maybe there's, okay. there's plenty of rumors out there, dude. I don't know which one's true. That's how rumors get started. Go ask Baba for some baby pictures of Chris. <laughs> okay. There's none. So like okay, magic. then I guess one word to describe me as a kid. Then I guess. Yeah. Chatterbox. I knew it. Okay, okay. Well, that's why he has a pod. Well, I have a podcast. I mean, what do you mean? I mean, I used to always say, hey, let's play the, the silent game. And Chris is like, I don't like that game. <laughs> I always lose. Yeah. It's the worst game okay. ever. Okay. One word to describe Chris as a team. <laughs> well, he was pretty chill. Oh, that's there a good go. one. Yeah, chill. Chill. Okay. And how? He had his moments. <laughs> I think everybody has their moments as teens. Well, especially as a teen, yeah. yeah. Okay, and one word to describe him now. Lit. Oh! <laughs> I don't know. Like one word to describe him now. I. Evolving. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> like a nice. fucking Pokemon. I'm down. I'll take nice. it. <laughs> <laughs> thank you i love pokemon that's cool oh my god <laughs> all right guys so let's get i got up. i got a question it's just a random question let's, let's say you have two choices all right somebody came up to you and it's like there's two pills one's blue one's red all right red one you get to live forever <laughs> blue one you get to start your life over with all your memories until right now that you have which one would you take i know which one i'm taking Oh, shit. I don't know if I'd want to live forever. I don't think I want to see the end of them. Forever young. I want to be forever young. I'm going to go with the restart. Okay. Ooh. That's cool. Restart. You, yeah. Chris? Yeah, restart for sure. Yeah? Having the hindsight that you have now. Imagine what you could do with differently with your life. Yeah, exactly. Like knowing what you know now and you yeah, get to go back that's and true. and you have it from the starting line. You have it from the start and know like this is definitely what I need to do to be successful. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's yeah. Like twenty twenty guys. 
No. Dude, I'll be ready for that mother. I'm like, dude, 20 <laughs> Out. Listen. What do you try to warn people or what do you try to make like a business of masks? On New Year's Eve, I'd be like, guys, stop. You don't want to celebrate this. You guys do not want to go to 2020. Do not celebrate this. You become this like prophet? Yep. I would start an occult religion and we would go try to conquer the world or something. Whatever they try to do. So, all right, guys. This was episode 39, Conversing with Chris and Misa, the podcast. Uh, featuring friend of the podcast, family member of the podcast, my sister Amanda. So we're going to go around and give our final thoughts. Uh, Lena, go ahead and start us off today. <laughs> um, no, just as always, thank you for spending time with us. Very blessed to have you in my life. So thank you for sharing this part of you and being a part of this podcast. It's been great. Um, we miss you, miss you always, you know, wish for your safety and your prosperity, you and and Dre, and we just miss you, you know, so hopefully when everything is more settled, we can come, we can spend time with you, and um, just, again, thank you for being here, dude, I'm so excited, and thanks, anybody, for listening. Nisa, final thoughts? Yeah, yeah, um, Amanda, nice meeting you, finally, um, it was fun, um, I, I feel sorry that you had to grow up with Chris around you. <laughs> Um, I'm glad I only have to do with them over this podcast because shit. But now I'm just kidding. Um, so yeah, shout out to you. Shout out to our supporters out there. Shout out to Dom. Congratulations on that, on that, um, on that gift, on that giveaway. Shout out to the wifey too. I love you, baby. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, everybody out there, guys. Uh, don't forget to uh, be safe, stay safe, and stay fresh. Hey, we we missed the stay fresh. You had to say stay it. fresh. The prizes now. Now that we're at the end. No, we won't. We're not going to tell them. So, uh, Amanda, final Amanda. thoughts. Oh, this has been a lot of fun. Um, I know you and I have kind of worked to get get this together for a few weeks now. So, it's going to be back. Going to be with the video aspect of it, and I've just continue to enjoy seeing what you guys do with this, and look forward to. Uh, where it goes for you i wish you guys like continued success with it and i know you guys are like uh really proud of it and it, it shows in the final product so just keep it up and you guys are doing some good stuff yep. thank you for that thank you for that so on that like chris says like chris says hey 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 <laughs> <laughs> Dude, well, the price the better be skewed a certain way, okay? Yeah, <laughs> Dude, that's honestly the best answer you can give somebody. Like, hey, dude. Like, <laughs> hey, hey, dude. I, I'm starting to do it a lot at work and shit here at home. Dude, yeah. honestly, that's something, huh? That people yeah. that hang out with me, they start saying like stupid shit I say after a while. Yeah. It's kind of dumb. Yeah, it's stupid, but it works. I don't know what happens. Anyways, <laughs> so, hey, hey, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to that. Um, Amanda, I want to thank you for joining us today. Uh, this was a cool episode. Um, we we had already done previous episodes, so that's kind of why we kind of just popped straight into it today. Uh, Misa, shout out to you for joining us again. Um, thank you. Shout out to, to your wife for the lasagna the other night. Mm-mm. Made from scratch. Hey, how's that cow? Made with love, dude. How's that cow doing there that you guys made the cheese from? Did you see it? Yeah, it's 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 okay. It's it's doing all right. Well, we had steaks today, so oh, okay. that's the end of that. Well for that. I guess I- <laughs> Shout out, yeah. You, you have to ask, Chris. Yeah, my bad, guys. So, anyways, um, yeah, thanks again, Amanda. Lena, shout out to you. Um, once again, great episode, guys. Thank you for everybody who's been supporting us. Uh, make sure you go like us on Facebook. Check us out on Instagram. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, please. We're at 111 subscribers now. And we just hit 1,000 views in total on YouTube. So shout out to you guys for that. And also, guys, on Apple Music or Apple Podcasts, leave us a rating and review. We do appreciate all that. So with all that being said, guys, episode 39, Conversing with Chris and Misa, the podcast. We are... Yeah. Uh,